Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this, and I'm sure you know by now there's a new layout around in my room. Um, so, I'll probably give you guys a tour of that later on, like another setup video, which I've done like a thousand times, but we can do it again. So I spent most of the week essentially moving everything from over there to here. I don't know why, because I got bored. Um, but before we get started in the topic above, I thought I would tell you that I got the Uncharted comic book. And then while I was there at kingscomics.com, if you're in Australia, they're in Sydney. Um, they have a store actually, I'll probably be the only comic book store in the whole country. Um, but I also got Uncharted and then I got a bunch of the Batman ones that are based on the video game. So if anyone knows any other comic books that are based on video games, send me a link and I'll check them out. Um, so yeah, that'll be cool beans. Okay, so this video is about the COD commentators because once again, they are puzzled as to why people don't like them or why the, the COD community is in the shit. And I will tell you why it's in the shit, because it's not a community. How many times do we have to discuss this? The community is essentially a bunch of money-grubbing... What did I write here? Money-grubbing e-beggars, COD commentators, with a series of 12-year-olds with no give or take. So essentially, you know, if you're a COD commentator and you want to give sex advice to 12-year-olds, or you want to e-beg people, or you want to beg people to like, favourite, and thumbs up the video, that's cool beans. Just don't be surprised when people hate you. This is the internet. Get over it. There is no community here. None. It does not exist. Thank God, because if there was a COD community, I'd probably blow my brains out. It's such a gathering. So I've written down some points here to help out the COD commentators on why people don't like you. Um, first of all, you take yourself way too seriously. Way too fucking seriously. And the best thing about it is, and I will tell you a story of when I pissed Ken Burton off, um, many eons ago, a, a guy on YouTube sent me a video saying, here, check this out, and I clicked on it. It happened to be a Ken Burton Australia video, so I thought, oh, this will be a good laugh, and I was correct. At the end of the video, if you want to go and check it out, go and search his channel, I couldn't be bothered finding it. Um, he said something along the lines, in a serious, t if he was joking, okay, that's fair enough, but he said in a serious voice, hopefully a production company in Australia will send me out there, him, Ken Burton, to here, to fly the flag for gaming. So I tweeted, I didn't even tweet at him, so apparently he must narcissistically Google himself on Twitter. I said, you're an idiot. And then he cracked the shits and sent me all these messages, and his son came after me, Ken Burton came after me. Um, and then I just he sent me all these YouTube messages, and I just replied like a complete smartass. But the irony is that now he has a channel that's full of, um, full of, what's the word? Full of controversial material. Fuck, you people take yourself way too seriously. I mean, you know, and that could be said, you, you turn off comment voting, which is a complete slap in the face of the people who comment. You, you turn off ratings sometimes. You turn off comments. You revenue, you revenue share a video a minute long. Okay, fair enough. You get money for doing it. I get money for doing this. But I'm not going to revenue share a video that goes for a fucking minute or, or direct you to a live stream page. It's just fucking retarded. And if you're still getting ads on YouTube, download Adblock. I will leave a link in the description. Please go and download it. And also, don't let any person sign to Machinima tell you not to download Adblock because it hurts the creator. That's complete bullshit. Also, if you want to get back at them, watch their, watch their videos on mobile. You're on welcome it. Come on, people. Watch me on mobile. Go for it. I do not care. I have no filter. Um, but a lot of them turn their mobile views off because you can't monetize mobile views. Alright, um, you always complain all the time. I mean, I complain all the time, but I complain about games and stuff. I don't complain about, you know, my fucking wealth. A lot of these COD commentators, and I'm done, I'm mentioning names now, I don't give a fuck. A lot of these COD commentators go on the Twitters or the YouTubes and rampage about how, how, much, how they have no money left and all this bullshit. Look. And we all know who's, who does it. Wing, good old Wings of Redemption. I can tell you from an insider, for a fact, that people like him and Woody's Gamertag are making well over 100k a year. There are a lot, there are fucking a shitload of people out there doing a lot worse than that, so shut up. Second, third of all, you have extreme narcissism. You have your own t-shirts. Seriously, do you think people really want to walk around in public with a Ken Burton or a Woody's Gamertag t-shirt? No, and if they do, they should be shot dead. Third, um, you know, I don't care, I don't care how you do it, it's just, this, these are some of the reasons why people might not like you. I personally don't give a shit. Um, you know, you could chuck a champ chong and, and create blatantly fake thumbnails and blatantly fake titles. You could do champ chong, what he does. You could give sex advice to 12 year olds, 
or you can, uh, you know, you can do whatever you want. I don't care. Just stop bitching. It's really fucking, it gets old. I mean, if you can't put two and two together, it's just annoying. And a lot of people now seem to go, will Hutch be back? Is Hutch coming back? Who cares? Stop making fucking money off a guy's name. And also, what I think Hutch did is fucking disrespectful to everyone who subscribed to him. Seriously, took his ball and went home and did not even make a video on his own channel. I think that, to everyone that subscribed to Hutch and supported him, I really think that that was a slap in the face and a poor move, but I don't really give a shit. Alright, what else have we got? So, the people who watch the YouTube commentators, such as yourselves, if you do. Are you 12 years old? Check. I personally don't understand why people watch them. They play Call of Duty on stream. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, but if you watch them, you know, don't... This is my personal experience. Like, I've reviewed a few products, and I have more products coming if this uh, marketing company is legit. They said they'd send me energy drinks to review. And I guarantee that when I review them, people will crack the shit saying, you sold out. First of all, I have, like, fucking a thousand views a video. If I sold out for, what, five cents? I get paid for YouTube, yes, um, but the moment that this stops being fun, I'm done, and I've been very fucking close the past couple of months of just leaving because I've just cracked the shit, um, because it's just not fun anymore. So when this is not fun, I'm done. Um, so, you know, if you do it for fun, do it for fun. But also, if you watch these people, try and be considerate, because if somebody came to you and said, you know what, you have this YouTube, here, review this for us, you would fucking take the opportunity. Or if someone said to you, here, we'll give you X amount of money, which I've never been offered money to do any of this shit, by the way. Um, and I probably wouldn't accept it because I think that that's bullshit. Because if you're going to review a product, review it properly. Don't fucking take money. Although Activision, I'm open. Um, but you know what I mean. So don't be shitty. You know, they provide you with free entertainment for the most part. And if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. If you don't, you don't. If it's not for you, it's not for you. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope that's cleared a few things. I'm out. Au revoir.